All right, guys, I'm back for my second attempt at using the Norvina palette. I'm determined to find a way to make this palette work for me because I'm so in love with the color story and I really, really want it to work. Um, but I'm gonna try to prime my eyes with an actual eye primer instead of my concealer, maybe use some glitter glue. Um, and I'm gonna try to use some different shades than what I originally used in the first video. So let's go ahead and jump in. All right, so I'm gonna go in with my MAC Painterly Paint Pot and prime my lids using that. I also didn't do um, any powder or concealer under my eyes because of the debacle that happened yesterday with the fallout. I'm really, really hoping I can get this to work. But after I posted my video, um, I actually started looking up reviews to see if other people were having the same issue as me and actually I found quite a few people that were having issues with the shadows just crumbling out of the pan and not sticking to their lid. So um, either it's just the palette or there's some inconsistencies with the production of it. I don't know. I obviously don't know how to make makeup whatever you want to call it, but um, that's the only thing I can think of. It's either just that's the way the palette is or, you know, there's a problem. Okay, I'm going to go in with this shade here base and kind of pack that on my lid to set the concealer. And I'm just going to very lightly press it. So that did give me a good amount of pigment. like this shade actually this is a really like it's a perfect shade to use for setting your base and it is storming its butt off outside so I'm sorry if you can hear the thunder 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 lightning and rain it has been insane um it is Sunday it's almost six and I pretty much slept all day because of the rain it just you can't do anything and of course Levi my new visual puppy decided he doesn't like the rain and doesn't want to pee or poop outside. So that's been a struggle lately. Okay, I'm gonna be brave and I'm gonna go in with this shade Love. I know it has glitter in it or shimmer, so I'm hoping it doesn't make my eyes look old like Soul did. So I'm just going to tap a little bit of that, like just very nicely put my brush in and that again gave me a good bit of pigment so we'll go ahead and try to blend that on the eye but I'm gonna tap it off by the way I want to do like a pinky look This blends out a lot nicer, but because of the minor shimmer in it, it is causing my eyelids to look a bit wrinkly, but I think I might have a way to fix that. I'm gonna try something. I think I've heard of this trick somewhere, but I could completely be making that up. It's not making my eyelids look as bad as Soul did. Like Soul was just, ooh, no bueno. Okay, I'm actually gonna try to go in with some translucent powder, like a matte powder, and put that over top, like a very little bit over top of it to see if maybe it like gets rid of that shimmer. Okay, that actually worked a little bit. I mean, you can still see some of the frostiness, but it definitely mattified it a little bit and made it not emphasize as much texture. All right, next I am gonna go into the shade Volatile here, which is this cool tone purple. Um, and I'm just gonna very lightly tap. 
and kind of work that on the outer V. And a little bit into the crease. So I'm going really slow with this shade and working up the pigment and deepening the color because I don't want to go in too crazy and then not like it or have a ton of fallout. Just muddying up a little bit right here. I just don't understand why these shades don't want to play nicely. So instead of blending, I'm just going to kind of pack the color onto my outer V. And maybe that'll help it not blend and be so muddy. Okay, next I'm going to go in with Passion with a little pencil brush and just lightly tap and that gives you quite a bit of pigment these shadows are so soft like so soft you have to be so gentle i'm noticing with just putting your brush in the pan and i'm also going to put this kind of on the outer v just to deepen it up I love this color. I think this is probably one of my favorite colors in the palette. Okay, I'm going to take that first brush that had love on it and kind of just very lightly blend. Holy crap, that rain is intense. Now I'm going to go back in and just add a little bit to my crease. I did get some fallout from that shade, but it's okay because I haven't done my concealer yet, so I can clean it up. Um, I really want to go in, even though I used this in my tutorial the last time, Flower Child, but I'm going to try it with a glitter glue to see if that makes it stick to my skin better. Um, it will not stick to my eye as you saw in my previous video. And then also today I was taking different brushes and kind of putting it on the back of my hand to see which brush would work better with it. And pretty much none of them did. Like it was just not sticking to my skin. And the more I swiped over it, it was just picking up pigment and just pushing it everywhere. Um, so I'm gonna try a glitter glue, see if that works. And I'm going to go in with my Too Faced Glitter Glue. That's the only one I have. And I'm going to go in with my MAC 242, which is just a synthetic brush, which should work well with this. And this is the brush that I always use for using shadows like this. And it's never failed me, even though it has been failing me nonstop with this palette. So I'm going to pick up some of that glitter glue directly on the brush and put that on the eye, then go into the palette and grab the shade. Okay, that, that worked. That definitely worked. So... If you're having trouble, I would definitely say lay down a glitter glue first. I still did get a lot of fallout even with the glitter glue. Um, so I definitely still recommend doing your eyes first, at least before concealer. I'm just gonna grab a little bit more of that glitter glue and pop it right here and then grab some more. Yeah, that definitely works better, but I am noticing it's so muddy right here. Um, I definitely don't feel like these matte shades play very well together. 
And because the glitter glue is working so well, I'm going to grab some more. And then I'm going to go back into the shade that I was really excited about, Eccentric, and kind of put that um, towards the end. Oh yeah, that's the pigment I wanted the first time. Yes, okay. This is definitely working so much better with a glitter glue. I still am not a fan so far of the mattes. I just feel like the match just muddy. Like, like these are so vibrant and then it's like mud. So I don't know if maybe next time I should just use one matte shade in the crease um, or in the outer V. I'm not sure. I'm just so frustrated with this outer V. I don't know. I'm just glad I could get these shimmers to work because maybe I can just grab another palette um, for the mattes and then use these with that. Because now that I got these shimmers to kind of show up, I definitely like the palette more. Okay, I went ahead and did my under eyes, powdered, and I bronzed my face a little bit. Um, obviously, liner and lashes are on. Um, I got a little bit of eyeliner here because I got it like a piece of hair got caught on my liner and then I moved in and like swiped black up. I got as much off as I could. Um, I actually really like this look now that I put liner and lashes. I feel like it really tied it all together. Um, I definitely like it a lot more. Um, the corners don't look as muddy since I cleaned it up. Um, I mean it's still a little bit muddy there but I can live with it. Um, the liner kind of covered a lot of it up so I think the next time I'm not gonna put um, two colors here I'm just gonna put one I think the volatile shade again was just too cool toned to mix with uh, the I forget what shade it is is it dreamer oh hello YouTube love when my YouTube just starts randomly playing I just feel like those two colors didn't play well together. I would have assumed that this shade and this shade would have played nicely together, but I feel like this shade just muddied it up. So I think next time I'm just going to use this on the outer corner um, and see if that works better for like deepening up the outer V. Um, I don't know. Uh, so far, I like I said, I really like it. So let's go ahead and work on the lower lash line. I did go ahead and put... Um, my gel liner on my lower inner rim as well. I am going to go in with this flat definer brush and the shade Passion and press that into the lashes. And then I'm going to go in with the shade Love and blend that out. So passion and love play perfectly together. I love this lower lash line, like love it. So I definitely like love and passion together. So I think next time I'm just gonna put love here and then passion on the outer V and kind of go from there. But let me put some mascara on my lower lashes and I'll be right back. All right, so I'm definitely liking this look so much more than the one yesterday. The one yesterday was just a freaking disaster. Um, I love this shade Flower Child now that I can, or I keep wanting to say Flower Child. Is it Flower Child or Wild Child? Wild Child. I love the shade Wild Child. It is so pretty um, now that I finally got it to work. So it's definitely very ethereal, very soft, very romantic, whimsical. I love it. So keeping with that trend, I figured I would go ahead and pull out this palette that I never use, the Anastasia Moonchild palette and use that as my highlighter today to kind of keep up with the theme. And I think I'm gonna go in with 
this shade here, Pink Heart, to keep with like the pinky theme. All right, guys, I'm so sorry, but somehow the last clip of this footage got lost. I have no idea what happened to it, but all I did was add Tarte Exposed Blush, and then I ended up adding Urban Decay Back Talk Lipstick. Um, my overall review of this palette, I would have to say I'm still not a big fan of it. Um, I'm going to keep playing with it. I'm determined to get it to work. Um, I, I would just say lay down a glitter glue for the shimmer shades. Um, if I could go back in time, I pro knowing what I know now, I wouldn't purchase this palette. Um, I feel like I have a lot of these shades in my Huda Beauty Desert Dusk palette, so I really don't feel like I need this palette. Um, however, I am going to keep using it. I will bring you more looks trying it out. I don't know if I just got a bad palette or this is just how the palette is. I did see, like I said, a lot of other um, beauty channels talking about struggles they have. Samantha Robindahl said she struggled with it, and I just feel like if she can't get a palette to work, I have no hope of getting it to work. So, um, sorry, I, I usually wouldn't post this because I'm a perfectionist, and I hate when people do this, and they say they lose their clip, but I did, and I really don't have time to go refilm this. And I promised you guys it would be up today, so I hope you still enjoy it. Sorry the end of the clip got cut off. I wasn't doing anything else with the palette, just finishing up my face and giving you my final thoughts. But again, still not a big fan of it, but I'm not going to get rid of it just yet and keep trying it out. So sorry again. I love you guys, and I hope you have a great day. Bye.